It's mystery box day. I just received this box filled with Dollar Tree goodies for the October mystery box challenge to create some DIY projects for you all. Hi there, I'm Melanie from Simple Made Pretty where I share budget DIYs, home decor, and Cricut crafts. And if you love those two, hit subscribe below so we can be friends. My box came from Whitney from Whiskey and Wit, and I sent a box to Jennifer at a little bit of calm and crazy. So before I open this box and reveal the contents, a little bit more about the mystery box challenge. It was created by Courtney from Creative on the Cheap. Every month she gathers talented YouTube creators to join in this challenge and all the videos are run in a loop. So after you watch this video, be sure to jump over to Jennifer's channel and see what I sent to her in her mystery box and be sure to watch the loop until you get back to Whitney's video. You'll see a lot of great Dollar Tree craft ideas and I hope you'll be inspired to create something too. So this is my first mystery box challenge. It's filled with Dollar Tree items this round. So Whitney sent me two challenge items that I have to use, and I also have to use a pipe cleaner and a clothespin in a project. So let's open the box. So I got this cute card from Whitney. Hey Melanie, so excited you're joining in for this round. I tried not to be too tough, but wanted you to get the full mystery box challenge experience, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Happy crafting, Whitney. All right, so I've got some wooden dowels. A cute little plaid house. I actually saw this at Dollar Tree recently and was tempted to buy it, but I'm glad I didn't because she sent me one. A pumpkin pie sign. Some construction paper. Some red felt. I love felt. Oh, this is going to be fun. Some red and green 3D fabric paint. She included this styrofoam wreath form and this decorative wood hanger sign. Oh, and there's also some little Christmas trees. This will be so fun. So I've got the first challenge item. <laughs> Door stoppers. And the second challenge item. Oh, how fun. Two popcorn buckets. <laughs> Okay, so I've got popcorn buckets, door stoppers, Christmas trees, wood signs, styrofoam wreath holder, wooden dowels, and a flat house. Well, I'm going to take a couple of days to think of some MacGyver craft projects using these items, and I'll come back in about two seconds to show you what I'm going to create. Okay, so it's been a few days, and I have a plan. We are going to make all Christmas crafts using the items that Whitney sent me. So let's go. For my first project, I used the popcorn buckets, door stops, pipe cleaners, and clothespins. I was able to use the challenge items in my first project by gluing the door stop to the back of the popcorn bucket to create a container that could hang on a wall. I used hot glue in this part of the video but I'll show later that E6000 is the best choice to get the door stopper to stay glued to the plastic bucket. I spray painted the buckets a metallic gold and set them aside to dry. I took two Dollar Tree Christmas trees and put them together to create a fuller tree and started fluffing them. I used some packing tape to attach the trunks together and I tied a few branches together to keep it all in one piece. Then I made some decorations for the trees using red and white striped pipe cleaners and clothespins. I curled the pipe cleaner around itself to create a faux peppermint candy. I used my hot glue gun to hold it together in the middle and around the sides. Then I used hot glue to attach the peppermint to the top of a clothespin to create an ornament. I repeated these steps until I made the desired amount of ornament clips. Then I decided my trees needed something extra, so I grabbed some fishing line and Dollar Tree beads that I've been collecting and started making mini bead garlands. 
This was a little time consuming, so it's the perfect craft to sit and watch your favorite Christmas movie while you string beads. When my buckets were dry, I decided I wanted them to look more bronze, so I used some brown craft paint with gold glitter paint to achieve the look I was going for. I used tissue paper inside the buckets to hold the trees steady. I added some Dollar Tree fairy lights to my trees. The battery package sits nicely inside the bucket so you can easily turn the lights on and off. Then I decorated my trees with the DIY peppermint clips, wood beads, and some ribbon at the top to finish the look. That's when I did my trial run to hang the buckets and I realized I needed to use E6000 to get the best hold. I let the E6000 dry overnight before displaying them on the wall. These turned out better than I expected and are another option if you lack table space in your home or want to hang small trees like this on the wall. In my next tutorial, I'm using the Styrofoam Wreath Form Wood Circle Plaque, the Wooden House, the Red Buff Paint, the Construction Paper Mini Bottle Brush Christmas Trees, and the Small Wooden Dowels. I glued the Styrofoam Wreath to the Wooden Plaque using Tacky Glue. Then I took some Classroom Border Paper in green and cut it to fit the edge to hide the wreath form underneath. I used tacky glue and my hot glue gun so it could dry quickly. Then I used two Dollar Tree Essentials reusable mop pads on top of my display tray to look like fluffy snow. I cut the corners to fit and kept the corner pieces to use later. Then I removed the chalkboard plaque from the wooden house. It was glued on there pretty good, so I did what I could since I knew I'd cover it up anyway. I created some gingerbread printables to use for this project and you can download them from my blog library for free. Get access by scanning the QR code on the screen or by visiting the full blog post. I printed mine on regular printer paper, but I recommend heavy cardstock if you have it. I glued the cut gingerbread pieces to the house, the front and the back sides. I used some brown construction paper for the sides of the house and glued them as well. I took one of the small wooden dowels, cut two inches off of it, and glued the gingerbread lane sign to it. Then I decided to decorate these gingerbread printables using the puff paint. I let these dry overnight while laying flat and they turned out super cute. You could also mod podge them and sprinkle a little white glitter to give the appearance of sugar. I attached the house to the tray using hot glue. Then I created a driveway to the house using black construction paper and hot glued it in place. I hot glued the fake snow to the tray and used the extra pieces I cut off earlier to fill in the gaps. I also glued some of the fake snow on the roof of the house. Then I started placing the bottle brush Christmas trees, a gingerbread person, candy cane, and sign around the display and hot glued it all in place. I added some Dollar Tree mini disco ball ornaments to my display but I think this would look cute if you were to add a white picket fence and a mini red truck in the driveway. My son actually ran and got his toy cars to try it out when he saw this Dollar Tree gingerbread house display tray. 
In this tutorial, I use the pumpkin pie sign, the red felt, and the construction paper. I knew I wanted to cover or paint the pumpkin pie sign, so I started by using white construction paper and I glued it to the front. I had these mini poinsettias from Dollar Tree, so I used them as a guide to cut a large poinsettia using the green construction paper and the red felt. I created a free template available in my blog library so you can recreate this project. Get access by scanning the QR code on the screen or visiting the full blog post for this tutorial. Once I had all the leaves cut, I used my Cricut scraper tool to make the leaves look realistic by scoring lines and curling the leaves. I'm surprised at how realistic these paper leaves look using Dollar Tree construction paper. I used red felt to create the poinsettia petals. Again, I created a free printable template for the petals, the leaves, and the center so you can easily recreate this project. I used a little hot glue to curl and glue the middle of the petals together. I repeated these steps and assembled the leaves with the petals to look like a large poinsettia and glued them together. I cut a yellow circle using construction paper and glued it in the center. Then I hot glued some yellow pom poms on top. This is when I decided to spray paint the sign gold to give it some glam. When the sign was dry, I hot glued the poinsettia to the center and I felt like it was missing something. So I grabbed some ribbon and cut three pieces in various lengths. I hot glued them to the bottom of the sign where they can hide under the poinsettia. And then I attach the mini poinsettias to the ribbon using the twist ties that are on the back. This poinsettia looks great hanging on a wall or sitting on a shelf with the mini poinsettias dangling below. Well, I survived my first mystery box challenge and I absolutely adore everything I created. I hope you did too. Don't forget to jump over to Jennifer's channel to see what I sent her in her mystery box and be sure to watch the loop until you get back to Whitney's video. As always, links to items shown in the video are in the description. If you'd like to see static images or read the tutorials, you can find the full blog post at simplemadepretty.com or just scan the QR code on the screen. And don't forget the free printables and template mentioned in these tutorials. They are available in my private digital resource library. I'd love for you to subscribe so that we can keep in touch. That's all for now. Bye.